Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel Maths D1 D2 Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 4 which is expansion and factorization of algebraic expression. Your book is the service mathematics to D2 maths. Okay, I am going to explain question number 5 from exercise 14. So just before starting the lecture, I would request you that if you want more help regarding your subject then you can subscribe the channel. Okay, now let's come to lecture. Question number 5 is that we have to make the factors. So, and part E is, I have explained first four parts, uh, you can watch the video, and I have uploaded that video. Now, today I will explain you uh, part E and onwards. Part E is 2xy minus 8x plus 12 minus 3. So, just here you can see that in this term and in this term, in the first and the last term, y is common the variable y is common and uh, basically what we need to do is we have to make the brackets common so if we take y common from this and this term, we will get 2x minus 3 in the same way when if i'm taking common from these two term 2 so i will get the same bracket so we our purpose is to make the bracket same so that's why what i will do is i will write first and the last term together to get y common so this is how you write and now write minus 8x plus 12. Okay, so from these two terms you can take y common. So what will be left? 2x minus 3. Okay, if from these two terms take 2 common because 8 and 12 both are divisible by 2. So you can take 2 common. And one more thing students, you can uh, not you will not take 2 common because 8 and 12 are also divisible by 4. As I have told you that in my previous lectures that whenever you take common number always go for the greater number. As 8 and 12 are divisible by 2 but 8 and 12 are also divisible by 4. So take 4 common and go for the greater number. So here uh, I will go on 4. Okay, they will take minus 4 common. Here this is minus and I am taking common. Now I am closing the bracket. It means that I am taking minus and common. So I will, the signs inside the bracket will also be changed. And here I am taking 4 common. So which time 4 is 8 is 2 times right 2x. And students, here there is a minus sign outside the bracket. This is common. So the sign inside the bracket will be changed. This plus will become minus. And 4 3 is our plus. So this is why here you can see that the brackets are same. So this is why I have taken first and the last term common and I have taken the mid and these two terms. Uh, I have written first and last term together and I have written 8x and 12 together to make these brackets common. Now here you can see that I can take 2x minus 3 common because in this term and in this term 2x minus 3 is present. It means that I can take 2x minus 3 common. So what is left over here? 2x minus 3 is common, so just y is left, so I'm going to write y. And 2x minus 3 is common, so just 4 is left, so I'm going to write 4. So stress 2x minus 3 and y minus 4 is your answer. I hope that this part is clear to you. Let's come to f part. Okay, so here in this question, you can see that uh, the question is 5xy minus 25xk plus 50x minus 10. Right. So in the very first step, you have to think that how can you make the bracket same. So if you are writing first and the last sum together, just 5 and y are common. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. So you will get, if you are taking 5y common, so you will get x minus 2. In the same way, if you are taking... Um, Okay, if you are taking 25x from this written, you will get the same bracket. So you will make the bracket same. So that's why you have to write the first and last term together like this. Okay, G. So here, from the first term, you have to take, as you know, that 500 and both are divisible by 5. So you can take 5 common. And x variable and y variable is also there from the first and the second term. So you will take y common. Okay, so you have taken 5y common. Now from the first term you have taken 5y common. So just x is left. So write x minus. Which term 5 is 10 is 2 times. So write 2. 5 2 are 10. You have taken y common. So you will not write y. Okay, from the last here. These two terms are divisible by 25. 25 ones are 25 and 25 twos are 
50. So you can take 25 common here. There is a minus sign, so you write minus sign and 25. Students, so you can also see that x variable is also there in these two terms. So you will also take x common. All right, which term 25 is x? It's one time, so you will not write one with the coefficient. Here is x here. One x you have taken common, now one x is left. So write one x. Okay, students, so you have taken minus sign common, so the sign inside the bracket will be changed. This is plus, this will become minus. And 25 twos are 50, and x variable you have taken common, so you will not write x variable over there. So here you can see that these two uh, brackets are same, so these two brackets are present in the first and the second term. So you can take x minus 2 common. What is left over here? 5y is left, so you write 5y, and over here 25x is left. So write 25x. Okay, students, one more thing. Students, in this bracket here, you can see that 5 and 25, both numbers are divisible by 5. So you can also take common from this bracket. So first write this bracket over here, so that you can take common at the start. Okay, and x minus 2. Now you can take common 5 from this bracket, because 5 and 25 both are divisible by 5. So you can take 5 common. So just y is left over here, and which time 5 is 25, it's 5 times, so write 5, x. 5 ones are 5, and 5 fives are 25. Now, this is x minus, you write it as it is. So students, this is your answer. 5, y minus 5x, and x minus 2. I hope that uh, part f is clear to you. Well, let's come to next part. Okay, students, so in this question, part g, x square, y square, minus 5, x square, y minus 5, x, y square. Here you can see that most, most of the things are common. 5 is also common, x is also common, y is also common. And from the first and the last term, x, y are common. So you can write down the first and the last term together to take things common, like this. Now write this term terms together. I have written first and the last term together, and I'm writing these two mixed terms together. Okay, so here you can see that x square y square. So whenever you are having the variables with power, and if you are taking the common, so remember that take uh, take common with the lower value. If you're taking variable common, so take that variable common which has a lower power. Here you can see that the power over here is x here and the power over here is 1. There is no power mean that it has a power 1. So you will take x power. In the same way y variable is having, okay, y square is present in both terms, so you will take a y square common. Okay, so you have taken y square common. Okay, so what's left? Okay, so let's say this is x, y, q. This is x, y, q, so it means that the uh, variable over here is y square, the variable over here is y cube. So you will take with the lower power, and if when you will take with lower power, you will take y square common. Okay, G. now. What is left over here? My x, this is x square and 1x you have taken common. So it means that 1x is left. And y square, you have taken y square common, so no need to write it again x variable on this term x variable you have taken common so you will not write x this is y cube okay just y cube means that there are three y y scale you have taken common so one y is left so write that y over here now from this two term you can take five common because five is present in both terms you can take x common x is present in both terms and you will take y common because y is present in both terms you have taken variables common with lower power okay so now in the bracket this is five x y you have taken common this is x here so 1x is left, so you write over here. Okay, so as you can see that you have taken minus sign common, so the sign inside the bracket will be changed. So this minus will become plus. F, X, Y is common, so this is Y square, so just Y is left, one Y is left. Okay, so here you can see that X plus Y is present in both terms. So you can take X plus Y common. Now what is left inside the bracket? Okay, G. X, Y square. From this term, x y square is left because we have taken x plus y common. And from this term, you have taken x plus y common, so 5 x y is left. Okay, so here you can see that you can also take x y common from this bracket. So write this at the start, so you can take common. Because x y variables are present in these two terms. So you can take x y common from this bracket too. Okay, you take x, y common because x, y are present in these two terms. Okay, you have taken x common, which is y is left over here. 
and minus, you have taken xy common, so just 5 is left. And you will write this x plus y as it is. So your answer is xy y minus 5 x plus y. This is your answer. I hope that part G is clear to you. Let's come to H part. Also, uh, here in part H, you can see that um, K is present this term and this term, and uh, H is present in this term and this term. So you can take K common from the first and last term, and you can take H common from these two mid terms. So write these terms together first, first write uh, first and last term together to take K common. Now write these two mid terms together to take H common. Okay, G. Now from first two terms we can take k common as k is present in these two terms. So just x minus y is left. And from these two terms we can take h common. So just y minus x is left. So now you want to take x minus y common but here you can see that the signs with variables are different. So what you will do is you can take minus common from this bracket. Okay so then brackets will be same. Okay, gee. I'm taking minus sign comma from here. So when then when this minus sign will multiply with this plus sign, so it will become minus. Plus minus is minus. Now signs will be changed with y it will become minus and with x it will become plus. So you can write down x minus y. Okay, gee. here you can see that x minus y is present in this term and this term. So you can take x minus y common. What's left in the first term is k is left and what's left in the second term, the h is left, so write h. So students, your answer is x minus y and k minus h i hope that uh, today's lecture is clear to you take very good care of yourself thank you very much